Hurricane Ian on local business is a major concern. We knew that right after the storm, but some owners we've talked to say when it comes to tourism, they're seeing a very busy season. In fact, tonight, Fox Force Caitlin Knapp joins us from the Tarpon Lodge in Pine Island, where the, the storm surge there actually rose five and a half feet in Hurricane Ian, and this sent seven inches of water inside this well-loved location, Caitlin, causing extensive damage, but now they are back open. Yes, they are back open here in Bukelia. A lot of people were coming in today for lunch and staying here at the lodge, but not your typical visitor. Visitors like people on vacation or seasonal residents. The president of the lodge, Rob Wells, told me that a lot of people are actually here to visit friends and family who were affected by Hurricane Ian and even checking on their homes after Ian. And now at first, the Tarpon Lodge used the rooms to house displaced employees, neighbors, and a construction firm rebuilding Pine Island. Now. Guests are back in at a time where many question whether or not we would have a tourism season. Brian Hammond, president of the Greater Fort Myers Chamber of Commerce, says businesses say they're starting to see signs of tourism season. This year, our visitors are a mix of people who are actually down here hoping to perform work and help out people as they're rebuilding from Hurricane Ian. We also do have a few visitors who have come, come down for their traditional leisure travel. According to the latest numbers from Lee County's Visitor and Convention Bureau, visitors in 2021 spent $3.73 billion. Now, could we see this in 2023? Well, that's not clear, but Hammond says we are seeing strong visitor spending. Now, the lodge's president told me that he believes customers will come back and it is going to take some time and a little bit of helping each other out, but he says that the situation is really twofold. That's the story I'm working on for you tonight on Fox 4 at 6. Reporting live in Bokelia, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.